Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use QLM 6.0. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you through the first step in getting started and that is how to define your product in QLM. The first thing you need to do in order to protect your application is to define your product in QLM. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use the built-in demo product. To create a product, you enter your product name, major, and minor version. When you generate a license key, the product ID, defined further below, major and minor versions will be embedded in the license key. This means that the license key will only work for a specific version of your product. If you would like the same license key to work for all minor versions of your product, simply do not update the minor version in QLM every time you release a new minor version. For more details, read this article. With each product, you can associate up to 32 features that can be embedded in the license key. At runtime, your application can verify which features are enabled and enable or disable features in your application. In addition to providing license protection, QLM provides a framework for implementing a Check for Updates feature in your application. On this tab, you define the latest version of your software and a URL to download the setup and notes that you want to display to your end user regarding the new version. QLM provides an API that you can use in your application to contact the QLM web service and retrieve this information. QLM license keys are generated using an asymmetrical encryption algorithm that uses PKI technology. What this means is that hackers cannot write key generators for your application because only the public key is included in your code. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.